Hi there, my name is Elder Moraes, I am a cloud evangelist at Oracle and today I'm going to talk to you about continuous integration, delivery and deployment with Java E and containers. But before we go ahead, let me explain to you what those words really means in our situation here. For instance, continuous integration is when your code is always ready for building. Okay, it's much more like a habit when you are used it to, to have your code always being committed to the main branch and always ready to be building and generate artifacts. Okay, so this one is continuous integration. For continuous delivery is when your artifact is always ready for deployment. Okay, it's not automatically, someone you still needs to go and push a button, but your artifact is always there, where ready to be tested on the test environment or to be tried on the, the Q&A environment or even go to production, your artifact is ready. And for continuous deployment is when your deployment in any environment happens without any human interaction. So you have a pipeline, uh, automa uh, automatic, uh, automated pipeline, when you don't need to, to press buttons anymore, you're just going through the, the, the flowing of your pipeline. Okay, so let's show you how it will work in the, our contest here using a Java application and also using Jenkins. Okay, so we have here a Jenkins already set. Uh, we are using Docker to run our Jenkins here, so our whole environment here is using containers. So first, we are using Jenkins for building our, our application. We won't use our IDE anymore. So let's call here build Java application. It's a Maven project, so we are creating here a, a new job. Uh, Jenkins is based on jobs, so you create jobs for doing your your activities, your 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 routines, and so on. So here, the application we are going to get our URL from from the project just copy here and we put here and then as it is a maven project we will have a pom file that is inside this in this folder let's copy and put here and Okay, that is fine. So, if everything is working, we can now build our project. And you can just follow this log here. And we will show you the output from Maven and from everything that is, is doing now with this Maven process of building our Java project. Well, this output is quite like it was in NetBeans, so just change anything. So Jenkins has just built our our application here. Okay, so we have automated this this step for, for our pipeline. The, the continuous integration, I hope you are already done it. You are already committing your source code to the repository. We have done it here, okay? Our repository is on GitHub. So now we need a step for Really, after we have built our application, we have a step to create our containers and run our run our containers. Okay, so we just need here uh, one more step on our build for building our container. We build the application. We need to build the the, the image for our container. So we just go into execute a shell. And we do that part. And we use a sudo as we are on Jenkins environment. And we just need to change directory here. And go to sudo and do a docker build. And let's check it. 
and build again. So it will again download the, the source code and build the application and once it is done it will build a new image for the Jenkins for the, the application that we are running under Jenkins. So that's it. It's running. Our application is good. Okay, so we have built our application and we have also built the the image for the container. That's great. So we are almost there. So what we just need now is a new job for running our container. So let's create another one. It's a freestyle project. And we just need a a shell to be executed and we can go come here and copy those comments that will remove the container and then we'll create another one we we'll just maybe we echo here so let's click build and wait Oh, it is done. Okay, there is a rare. It's not a rare, really, because there's no container. That's why it said it's no container to, re to remove. That's okay. So it ran it and finished success. So now we are almost ready for for continuous deployment. We are also already ready for continuous delivery. Here, as we have automated our building and our deployment, but we still need to do it by clicking buttons okay so what we are going to do now is to to to, to take off to take out this this needy of uh, clicking buttons okay so we, what we are going to do here is going to the build project build the job and we are going to to tell the jenkins that once we are done here we have a, a post build action that is a trigger that will run our another another job here uh, let me sh check the name uh, a new tab and then we are okay run java e container and then we just put it here and trigger without parameters we just want it to to run so we try the the build again and we follow the output to do the same process again we download and we'll build and then we'll build the the image and once the image is built it will call the, the another job to really run the containers so it is doing right now you can check it here so here we have the the, the other job that is already already running and so as you said as you saw we have here th this those both jobs just when you you try uh, a build and it's done successfully you just move to the run and build the containers so there is just one piece that is missing for a real 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 automated pipeline a real deployment we just need to make the build step also automated so there are some some options one of those that we can do it it's uh, for example ask it the, the the Jenkins to do it like uh, on each five minutes okay so we are okay we just done it here and Jenkins will run on each five minutes and will build we will generate the new image and we run containers and uh, our our whole pipeline is really automated and we are ready for continuous delivery continuous integration before and delivery and then deployment okay so thanks for watching see you next time bye bye <music>